and I'm doing it for my daughter. Damn. Did you have to build a... Is Rube Goldberg a project in art school? Uh, no, I don't think the kids I was in, I was in class with would have been smart enough. What was the, the most interesting project that you had to do in art school that actually wasn't... In art school? Yeah. Like a, good, um, a good project. Nothing like that. The most, the, the, the deepest I went was in, uh, I did, before RISD, I went to Carnegie Mellon for industrial design. And that was a, that was a real program. That was an old school program. That was, um, mm. that was like hardcore drawing and, uh, learning how to do a style of drawings, specific style called, um, that you would call industrial design visualization. Visualization meaning that it's like you're, trying to make you're you're trying to show what an object would look like it's it's not it's it's a different type of drawing it's not like a um artistic style it's a um, fact matter practical fact. matter of fact but there's still a twist on it there's still kind of like have you ever seen a chip uh chip foos is that his name yeah chip foos you ever see the drawings he does yeah like imagine drawing like a, a telephone but it's got that kind of stylistic twist on it like the color of the background has a yeah. color? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it has like a shadow. And like the line is like a slash like this. And it's not a slash like this, like the, on a phone, like, a, you know, like an old conference phone? Yeah. Like the line is like a, sh like that kind of thing. And it's not to, it's not to make the image more beautiful. It's to convey to the person looking at it that this phone is like reaching ahead into the future shit like that ah. like that's sort of the, the the way that you subtle things that would I indicate that it's there yeah it's of the ilk that it's not a uh not your average phone yeah and i i love that style of drawing i love that um that type of work and the teachers were really good like they were so fucking good man um, well carnegie mellon's good because you never hear about it that's how i know it's good yeah like you don't hear about carnegie mellon like you hear about MIT, but you don't hear about Carnegie Mellon. I think you. I think people hear about you. You would hear about Carnegie Mellon for computer science. I think they're yeah. pretty famous computer science. They all. They but they also have. They're also one of the best industrial design programs. Um. But the uh, the teachers I had there, they were all real deal. Like they knew their shit, and they could they could really draw some um, fantastic stuff. Where Where is Carnegie Mellon? It's in Pittsburgh. Hmm. Which um, I didn't really like Pittsburgh. It was okay. No, yeah, it's fucking eh, no. Nah. That's gonna be the hot area, though. You know, it's it, no, nah, it's one of those. It's one of those things. You go to a city and you can tell, you can tell that this city, like, it's too new. It does, and it's not that. It's not that like, Pittsburgh doesn't have a bunch of new buildings, but it's like the interest in Pittsburgh is new. It's like there's only the only reason why there's people here is because there's a college and these like companies that are here. Like, mm. It should like. It just feel there's something about it that feels temporary. Like people feel like they're going to be gone in three years That's when you fair. look at them on the street, and I don't like that. That happens uh, in Providence. I like history. I like feeling, but in Providence though, you when I, when you look around Providence, you like oh, there's a lot of people where you can tell that they've been here for 15 years and they're going to be here for 15. years. Immediately right now though, the new trend is like hospital workers from Indiana, and Ugh. you're like oh, like people selling their houses in 12 months. Mm -hmm. You can see it in real estate sometimes. Mm -hmm. You can see it in car business sometimes, mm -hmm. where like you get like these like new, like for for from a just a fucking you see like an uh, like an Indian couple yeah. that's not Indian yeah you know what I mean yeah like, where are you from and they're, they're like, white they're white people they're white. but the way they, the way they move is Indian right right and they're like oh okay like your name's Parnat but you're from like Michigan mm -hmm. and you're gonna be in and out of here in like twelve months oh you mean they are Indian they are Indian okay yeah yeah like like oh you're like safe. Like you Yo, went to like you Baylor. Really like yeah. me, we never had people that went to Baylor, mm -hmm. and now they're here. Like oh, we never had people who went to Purdue. Yeah. Now they're here. Like we have like you know like Midwesterners and shit, and yeah. like and like uh, I'm from San Jose, California, mm -hmm. but I live here. I'm where, what do you work? I work for Hasbro. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm on a temporary. I'm on a. I'm on a mission basically. I'm on like a, yeah. a temporary job. And you're like oh fuck, huh? I used to get them at the antique store, and I was like oh this is like new. Now there's a lot of them. I think it's because it's that tight for people that they have to go where the action is. But when I yes. said when I said they're white people who, who move like Indians, I meant like like an Indian will uproot his whole life and like his whole family and change every like car, apartment, clothes, like whatever mm. details he has to yeah. change all of that in four months 
for a better paying job. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. For like a job that's like 20,000 more, 15,000 more a year. I have to uproot everything and change everything. Better. And go across the country better. That type of thing. Yeah. That's like, like I think now, I think there's white people doing stuff like that. Yes. There like, are. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's like a new thing. Like my, my brother gets them like where I'm like, yeah, they moved to North, like, like doc, doctors do that. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm not making money here. I'm not... Or, or the the conditions that they have me working, yeah. the hospital is so underserved that I'm working like shifts that are re right. I'll go to North Carolina, Chapel Hill, North Carolina, yeah, and I'll leave even though I just spent a million and a half dollars on a house up here, yeah. And like my Jake will see it, and, I'm just, and it's like that shit that was never it was very uncommon. That's around. new. That's that new. new. Yeah. New Englanders are like fuck it. I'll just stay here. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'm just I'm just here. I'm a New Englander. Yeah, and they'll come back. I don't know. Like I would never leave. I would. I would never, I love it here, so I would never uproot myself. Right. I would never do that. But no. I feel like people in the Midwest, they don't have to, because the Northeast people like it. Well, part, also, listen, part of it also is that other parts of the country yeah. suck. Yes, that's true. <laughs> they so suck. If, you're, yeah. if you're moving from like St. Petersburg to somewhere in fucking Oregon, yeah. who cares? Because both places fucking suck. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> it's like, uh, it's like a uh, suck cow's. Yeah, yeah, or yeah. eat trash out of a dumpster. Uh, mm. Spider crawling on my face at night, or yeah, yeah. Mm, um, yeah I'll bump <laughs> my wife. Uh, Whatever. Yeah, either way, like uh, watching my wife get <laughs> with a gun barrel. Either way, it's twelve thousand more dollars a year. So that's a thumbs up. <laughs> no, it's it's true. It's because it, the Northeast is like. You, Isn't that awesome? It's great. That's so funny, man. It, it really, it really is because they're like when you really get down to it, the coastlines of. Obviously, I mean it's a very obvious thing. It's like when people try to sell me Florida. Yeah, and I'm like, go there, <laughs> go to Florida. <laughs> Do you like you like fucking high crime? Yeah, you like like getting fucking ten percent of getting carjacked every day, mm -hmm. where it's funny and like mm -hmm. you have like like they sell spice <laughs> like spice and uh, what's that fake weed? Kratom and Cr yeah, that all, shit. Yeah, all whatever is on the news. We don't do that up Go here. Go get so yeah, yeah, no. Have fun. <laughs> they think it's real fucking funny to steal your Acura and drive it like into a cop, like T-bone a cop car. Yeah. While on another cop chase, like mm. they think that shit's hilarious. Now we don't mm -hmm. have that. Not never mind the fact that it's 114 muggy ass degrees. Yeah. And uh, overpopulated beaches and sluts everywhere, mm -hmm. both of, of both genders. Mm -hmm. Of all nine genders, <laughs> um, yeah, no, and, uh, and New England is like, no, nah, it's great because you have you have like six gears of life here. Mm -hmm. You've got like mountains, beach, mm -hmm. countryside. You've got country music if you want it. You can be city. You can be, you, you can play New York for what it. You can treat New York like a slut. Yeah, because New York is great if you treat it like the f whore that it is. Yeah. If a there, prostitute kept their mouth hours. shut, it'd be great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. If a prostitute was hot, kept her pretty clean, mm -hmm. and no one had a problem, it would be fantastic, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Let's just be honest. I don't even think everybody's wife would have a fucking problem. It was like, yeah, as long as you're not catching anything, it's fine. Keep her fucking mouth shut. Mm -hmm. I know it sounds crazy, but it's true. That's what you treat New York like. Because mm. New York is a big fucking city where you can eat nine kinds of delicious food. If you if you can pinpoint the the, the best restaurants are there, mm -hmm. you have the median income, mm -hmm. so you can have the foods and the provisions and whatnot. But you don't want to fucking live. You don't want to marry a prostitute. No. You don't want her throwing shit at your dad at the at the Thanksgiving Day table. Hell no. You know you fuck me. <laughs> you know you fuck me, Fred Hyde. And the, what the equivalent of that is that you, if you're in New York long enough, you 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 smell like the street. That's right. Yeah, yeah. You smell like rat fur. Like the edge, the edges of your clothes are just a little bit dingier. Yes, your hands have like a. Yeah, you have like a certain type of bo. Yeah. Yeah, your feet have different kinds of sores on you them. Take a little you bit. Of, yeah, you take a little bit of the subway with you. Yeah. You get different, and I th I honestly I do think this. I honestly think that it's probably it's probably dangerous to hook up with girls in New York City. Because they they probably have like the the most advanced like whatever the most advanced like strain of HPV is yeah like I would be worried about hooking up with girls in New York yeah yeah because they, they probably got they probably they got it listen it's a human petri dish but those girls are all fucking listen a lot when you do drugs yeah. you do drugs till six in the morning well guess what happens when you run out of drugs at six in the morning. You fuck a drug dealer for more of them. Mm. But guess what that drug dealer just did? Mm. Fucked another chick for drugs. Mm -hmm. And guess what happens? Mm -hmm. That shit go. you know what I mean? It's like it goes around and around and around and around. Yeah. That's the problem about New York. Like you can party until 
four o'clock the next Whoa. day. It's the only place in the world. You, <clears throat> I mean, Las Vegas is like that, but you don't really want to, so you just kind of mm. stop partying because it's like, oh, this is just crazy. I'm just a crystal meth addict out here. Mm. But in New York, it's kind of fun. Yeah. You're like, you'll find like a group of rich gay guys that are like, I'm going to a rooftop party. Mm -hmm. And you go to a rooftop party in New York, you're like, oh, this is fucking fat. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is rich. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. That's a like a rich socialite's kid that has a penthouse in downtown. And this is beautiful. This is what I see in TV shows. Yes. Let's, yes. As opposed to Vegas, where it's like, where's the stuff that I see in TV shows? <laughs> Why is no one around? <laughs> Who's this? Fat black stripper. Yeah, yeah. Their ass in my face. Yeah, yeah. You gonna give me more money? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Getting like a where the money at? <laughs> Come on, you know you got money, Mister Money Bags. Yeah. Oh God. But like shit like that, like like in other towns when you like Las Vegas, New York. I mean, even like in L.A. But L.A. you party late, but I think people are more a little more holistic. New York is like a fucking steam train of party. Yeah, in L.A. they the, the next day they're recuperating with yoga and like green juice and stuff. And the beach. And I would I would say in L.A. you're um you really have to what you be worried about is getting AIDS. Mm. But <clears throat> um in New York you'd have to be worried about some sort of hyper strain of HPV. But L.A. they don't it's just simple. Cut and dry AIDS that you'd have to worry it's about. Old plain Jane AIDS. But the, but the next day everybody's recuperating. They're going to yoga. They're going to get green juice. And it's also it's also just the fact that they're driving too. Like yeah. you're not you're not in a you're not getting packed into a meat wagon like subway car to, yes. to go to the next meat cell. You, you can know? get fucked up when you're taking a meat wagon. You're going nice house drive going in the car to nice house. Yeah, you know, <laughs> to shitty apartment, to backyard pool. Mm -hmm. Like uh, the, the times I've gotten really fucked up in New York, the things that I were like, like I went to a pool one time. Yeah, like a in in the backyard of brick buildings. Yeah, I go, how did you get a pool here? He goes through my living room, mm -hmm. piece by piece. Mm. I was like, holy shit! Mm. The owner of the uh, I part, Lawrence Servideo and and Emerson took me to a party in a pool, but it was like it was fucking insane. Yeah, and if there was drugs there, it would have gone insaner. Yeah, you know, like it was like. I'm at the rooftop party on like a 37th floor. Then we're like carring to a pool. Yeah. And then it's like, boom. And even like what the guys, like these guys, these guys went to a fucking party at some like rich chick's house. I, something about the level change too, like going high up in a building. Yes. That's different than being at a nice house. Yes. Because in LA, the, in LA, the craziest thing you can do is go to a nice house. Yeah. You know, which is like not, hills. it's not, that's not that crazy. No. Yeah. It's cool. Going yeah. high up and getting a vista of view. And being close, like tight, close in with people, with other people, that's that's much stranger. Yeah, that's that's like being like head next to a working engine. Like yeah. your head is next to the fan. Yeah, and that has something to do with your sensibility. And you, if you just talk to anybody from New York, if you think you're good at partying and doing drugs and doing that shit, if mm -mm. you hang out with like old school New Yorkers, like get like I'm sure like Gavin McInnes and shit like that, like good New Yorkers are nuts. Yeah, like you you can't hang. Mm. Um. And I can go pretty hard, but it goes like, I don't know, New York's got like a special type of horsepower to it. It's got like another gear. Oh, yeah. But if you can treat that fucking city like the fucking whore it is, mm -hmm. that's why New England is so great. Because you, you're, you know, three hours from that place. Yeah. You don't, you don't eat two gallons of caviar. Yeah. You like a spoonful of it. Mm -hmm. And you can kind of spoonful that. That's why New England is, uh, is wonderful. Not Boston, just Rhode just Rhode Island, Hartford. <laughs> New, <laughs> everywhere except Boston. Eh, yeah, everywhere except Boston. Too many Chinese Dude, people. Dude, Boston fucking sucks yeah, ass. Too many cornball Chinese people. Like Yuck. clean.